a big party. People go, people who know, people who don't know, families, and there you have a free meal. So he said he would go to every funeral, every evening, where he had a free meal. It was during one of the funerals that a movie director spotted him and told him, do you want to be a movie star? He said, I want. The next day he was interviewed and began his career. How else did he make his money? He would go to the port and the trucks live in the port often would drop things, nails or whatever. And he would pick one by one and sell them. He also had a tricycle, I think you have something similar here, carrying passengers. And never once he was involved in violence. Never once he robbed. And I invited him, he hasn't been yet to Timor, please come and talk to our youth, the poor in the neighborhood. So that's how someone like him create pride, dignity in his neighborhood. Each of us have a different ways of how to contribute. And then slowly you can impact in the rest of the country, you can impact regionally or internationally. One other great hero of mine, never met him, is a Colombian school teacher. I read in the New York Times a fabulous story about this Colombian school teacher. Somewhere in a remote town in Colombia, village, not even town, a village. What does he do to help others? He has two donkeys. He carries books on the two donkeys. He goes from poblado to poblado, from village to village, lending books to the poor people. He delivers a book here and there. He continues on. He comes back two weeks later. They return the book. He gives a new one on two donkeys. Well, his story became known in the Colombian media, and then he started getting thousands of books donation. These are some of the fabulous, rich stories, unknown heroes all over the world. People who are doing not small things, they're actually doing great things in small places to help each other. So these are some of my greatest heroes. In my country, I instituted several awards to honor heroes, and heroes not only those who fought the resistance battles. A school teacher in my country, a woman in a remote village, who every day she walked two hours climbing up and up the mountains to teach in her native village. Every day. I went, uh, because I financed that school, built that school for her, one day I wanted to visit. Even the army helicopter was not able to go that high. The, the pilot told me, we better go back, unload some people. It's too high and too heavy. And that woman, every day she climbed up, very steep. God, what a dedication. And she do it for free to teach her own people. Next. I only hope that uh, when this book is commercially published, you all buy them. To conclude this special occasion, we would like to present the gift to His Excellency President Ramon Bogdan. This gift will be presented by His Excellency Pachana, the Secretary of State of the Education Peace and Sport.